Well, hello there. I'm Lemonade. I'm uh, using Renoise. I'm a tracker user uh, for many years now. I think like 23 years. I started when I was 12. Um, so it must be 24 years then. <laughs> um, but back in those days, they were dust based and th the sound was much, much worse. They were all like. Uh, uh, FOC, VO, uh, C files and and like around 22 kilohertz and mono uh, you had different programs like Scream Tracker I think and Impulse Tracker and it was a lot of fun and, uh, I still have some of the the songs but it's it's really worse but now um, many people are asking me how I configure and use uh, my software. So I made a small setup um, with OBS. Um, this is the same setup I also use when I'm live streaming and live composing. Um, the thing is I just want and hopefully you guys can see how uh, how I do this on in the setup because it's yeah you need to do it full screen and hopefully you can see everything um, well when I start up my Linux PC I'm using a studio Ubuntu um, with some KX studio uh, repository um, I use a studio Ubuntu because uh, I wanted to use 1604 um, because of some compatibility issues um, and it's just and also they're using like uh, very uh, low utilization wise desktop XFCE okay what when I start I'm just starting to load my stack uh, stack is a uh, alternative for Dropbox when I want to use uh, the tracker program and I'm going to make some music then um, I can be sure that everything is synchronized with this uh, virtual folder because uh, when I'm done here I can continue on my laptop which uh, which will also have the, the, the stack in installed so in the beginning I was using Dropbox but stack is uh, you get one terabyte for free so the choice was very easily okay that's the first part um, then the second part is um, starting up jack but I needed to, st to to start jack in front otherwise you I, I, c I c cannot rec record my, my voice um, this is the terminal I also needed to load uh, an, a module, module jack source, uh, because I don't know why, but when I open Pachasia, um, of course it's patch age. Um, when I'm logging in or zooming in. Um, somehow this pulse jack source uh, doesn't record and is it directly linked with the OBS so I needed to load another sync this one and connect the capture input from my M audio uh, to the front left and right so that's the reason uh, why I need another because this one is yeah it doesn't pick up sound <laughs> okay um, so those two are now loaded and then we can go to uh, Renoise when you're using Renoise sometimes uh, you use instruments and VSTs I'm a big fan of VSTs with all the possibilities you have in every VSTs uh, the options are endless and together with the built-in uh, effects you're using a lot of third-party 
plugins and sometimes when you start a plugin you get a very high sound the volume is very high and you could be uh, you could get deaf so what I'm doing is um, uh, starting the cold processors I have problems with my pronouncements I'm very sorry um, open I think because it's the first time I'm doing this Moo. well these are uh, this is Jack uh, Calf Jack um, it's a Jack based a virtual mastering rack with all kinds of filters what I'm using is a de-esser the answer uh, this is effect you can hear very good in Benny Benassi. Benny Benassi, the first song. Then, okay, this is a multi-mod compressor. So it's also to make the output from Renoise better sounding, but it's also to protect your ears when some plugin when you start it makes a l loud noise and you're getting deaf. And I use an exciter. Okay, now those three filters I have started. What I do now here is that you see here is the Calf Studio. Um, I'm going to put that here. Well, I can do this also with my voice. If I put the wire in, uh, in 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 here and in here. And output to the the answer in, and then I do it here. So if I'm right, then the sound will be a little bit different. But you can see if I remove this one you only get a right channel so for now I'm going to disconnect everything also Renoise what I'm going to do is put Renoise uh, multi bump compressor in left right from the left right out I going into the deesser and from the deesser out I go into the exciter and from the exciter I go to my playback eventually if you use uh, audacity I press pause and record then you'll get a two port input and of course not directly on a capture but you can put uh, the same output to here then of course you can also Route it to the streamer which you are hearing right now. So, this is my little setup. I also could put in my microphone, and then you see Audacity is reacting on it, which means you can also use. Uh, a microphone and then use a few filters and go directly to a multi-track recorder like uh, Ardor so you have a uh, multi-channel recording uh, I also use a separate guitar and go to GuitarX and GuitarX is uh, yeah it's also a VST which includes distortion and that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to open a song which I did yesterday.
it uses a few uh, VST instruments. Um, I also use Carla. Carla is uh, uh, some kind of bridge which you can find in the KeyX repositories. I'm also advising to use uh, the one in the KeyX repositories because if you're using it by downloading and installing it yourself, then it will not work. At least not for me. You have to do a lot of extra stuff to make it work. Also for for the drum gizmo, when you're installing drum gizmo, you will not find it in the VST list. You only find it when you're uh, installing the drum gizmo from the KeyX Studio repositories. Um, somehow they or somebody in this whole uh, process uh, ported also for uh, VST. So I have drum gizmo VST and otherwise they're only uh, will be available through Carla Rack. Carla Rack, uh, the wine bridge, which it's called also. So uh, for the piano, I use the Carla bridge and somehow the piano one is turning the uh, power off. So you have to, to power it on and then it will work. I'm going to put that here. So for making some sound, we need MIDI inputs and also the MIDI inputs are located here. So what I'm going to do, I have this big keyboard I have connected to my M Audio Delta 1010. I'm going to put it one in a re-noise. Now it's working. Uh, this one is called the lounge key, which I also can connect to the port B. And of course you have the lounge pad, and I put it on port A. The lounge pad is used together with Stepper. Stepper is a plugin for Renoise, which uses the, uh, the lounge pad for creating the song. So they are like... Uh, uh, short keys for the instruments, short keys for going to the right track. Oh no, the, the, the instruments and the tracks are combined. But it's uh, something I need to dive into. Uh, I didn't have time for that yet. So this is what I use. Um, yeah, to go into Kala, I will show you what Kala is. Um, Kala Rack. Now you can see that this Kala Rack and this is um, bridged uh, 32 bits and bridged wine. So this is how you can load DLL VST programs which normally you can only use in Windows. Um, I'm somehow forced to use this because there are a lot of open source VSTs only written for Windows and like the whole set of the H key Fortune X it's absolutely fabulous. See now I'm loading in the DLL file, hopefully this one is working. Ah, it's working. And if I open it, it's looking like this. See, it's uh, sounding absolutely fantastic. Anyways, um, I'm going to start another song. Because this one didn't have patterns, so I cannot let you hear anything. But that's no problem. So again, I have to open piano one. Hmm. So it's also it's a layer behind, I think, because it's powered on now correctly. Okay, um, let's uh, start this song.
Because this is the first time there will be a lot of things I forgot so if there are questions please ask and maybe I'll see you guys around. Thank you for watching. If you like it please hit thumbs up and otherwise subscribe even if you don't like it subscribe so you can every time get a pop-up when you can dislike something. <laughs> okay thank you bye.